Scientists say they've made a huge advancement in brain health. People over the age of 60 may now have access to a blood test for Alzheimer's disease. In what scientists are calling a breakthrough, a company, C2N Diagnostics of St. Louis, has started selling the first blood test to help diagnose Alzheimer's. The fact that we now, now may have this in our toolbox is very exciting to have available. Dr. Moran Sabah, director of the Cleveland Clinic Luruvo Center for Brain Health, says it's a huge advance. He says a clinical diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and dementia today is only right three out of four times. In other words, we call people with Alzheimer's dementia one out of four times they don't even have the disease in their brain. So having a, imagine having a blood test that could improve that confidence from 75% to above 90%. The blood test measures two types of amyloid particles and other forms of a protein that reveal whether someone has a gene that raises risk for the disease. If your blood test is normal for this specific value called amyloid 42 to 40 ratio, that means you probably don't have the disease and that would be very reassuring. But if it's abnormal, that means that we need to go ahead and do more tests to determine if in fact you are headed toward a disease like Alzheimer's disease in the, and eventually lead to the dementia. The blood test is not intended for general screening or for people without symptoms. This would allow us to go beyond that and with more confidence and more accuracy say, yes, you have the beginning of an Alzheimer's process or no, you don't have the beginning. Now, the test has not been approved by the FDA. It's aimed at adults 60 and older who are having thinking problems and are being evaluated for Alzheimer's. It's not covered by insurance or Medicare, and the company charges $1,250 and offers discounts based on income.